Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop here. This one is a Lenovo B41-30 and in the front it will only tell you B41 on the back side on the sticker it will tell you B41-30 or the model number is an ADLF. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to boost up the performance on this laptop by just simply replacing the mechanical hard drive that they come in here with a solid state drive and the performance will be dramatically um, increased by doing this a few things you might know before we start continuing once you replace the hard drive with a new solid state drive once you turn it on there will be no operating system in the new drive so people are like oh my file is gonna be the window is gonna be there or no no the hard drive is brand new so there's no operating system or anything like that so pretty much you have to install the windows from scratch I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive and check that video link it's really simple free to do so it doesn't take you any just few clicks and then you have Windows 10 USB boot drive ready to go and I made a video how to install the Windows on this laptop based with your USB 10 boot drive it doesn't even take you about 10 to 20 minutes so you can do that check those videos in my video description but this video I'm just gonna go over how to take the hard drive out how to replace it with a solid state drive all right so let's go ahead and continue so before we continue go ahead and back up your files and data to an external hard drive if you need all right power off the laptop flip it upside down you do not need to remove the battery at all is absolutely not necessary but in case you want to unlock it and pull out the battery but it's absolutely not necessary tools that you're going to need it's a screwdriver set i use the iFixit screwdriver set as it has all the bits that you need these are s2 class steel bit we're going to be using a phillips number one number one yeah and uh, we're going to use a flathead screw number three or four doesn't matter so what are we going to do down here we're going to remove two screws only the two screws that we're going to remove are the one in the middle in front of the laptop on here. These two hold the cover, the service cover. So go ahead and remove these two screws. The screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching those. Once you remove the screws, you want to grab the cover and you want to slide it towards the front end of the laptop or towards yourself. And the cover should get away from the main base about half a centimeter and you just want to simply lift it up and put it back down here the hard drive is on your left side here so to remove the hard drive you gotta puncture through the warranty label right here and remove that screw and remove the screw right beside it these two screws hold the caddy the caddy is a metal bracket that holds the hard drive in place so once you remove these two screws you want to switch to bit number one because after a few years of uh, not removing the hard drive, this caddy becomes really stuck to the case. So all you want to do, you want to just lift it up a little bit, like one or two millimeters from here, just to just break that seal. Once you broke that seal, all you need to do is just pull this flap here, or just put the screwdriver. If you don't have this, put the screwdriver right there and just squeeze it towards the other side, so it gets separated right in there. And then you simply pick it up. All right, this one does come with a 500 gigabyte Seagate hard drive, 2.5 inch mechanical. We need the brackets, the bracket is being held down by one, two screw there and two screw on the other side. Go ahead and remove the screws from there and place it on your new hard drive. This is your new SSD drive. Make sure the orientation of the hard drive depends on the same facing direction. You don't want to put this one in here the other way around, otherwise the pins are going to be flipped. So make sure you have to go the same way in with the two screws here, two screws in there. So go ahead and replace them. Obviously the Phillips number one. Pick up the hard drive, grab the SSD, place it right on top. All right, once we got the new hard drive SSD right in there, all you need to do is to bring it down in 45 degree angle, put it down with an offset position, and then slide it toward the jack all the way in. 
And the last thing down here would be to put the two screws to hold the caddy in place so you will prevent it from sliding back. There we go. And one last thing, put the cover back in an offset position, it slide it towards the battery. Put the two screws that you removed from the front end of the laptop. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to replace your hard drive. If you didn't like it, click that like button. If you want to support the channel, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.